by the topic I chose was obfuscation. Um, what obfuscation is, is intentionally making something more difficult to understand. This is used for privacy and security purposes. Uh, obfuscation is used for many languages. <coughs> the most popular are C, C++, and Perl. Uh, Java is uh, not so popular because of its bytecode, which is easy to decompile, uh, which makes it vulnerable to reverse engineering. And code is obfuscated to protect against reverse engineering. Some obfuscation techniques are renaming objects and methods, extending classes, removing line numbers, encoding string values, and variable splitting techniques. Um, as well as you, you can promote scalars to objects, change the inher inheritance relations, uh, split, fold, and merge, and replace, and reorder instance variables. You can change the layout as well by scrambling identifiers, changing the format, and removing comments and line numbers. To control, or to change the control, you can clone the methods, reorder statements and loops, and extend loop conditions. Um, obviously, to prevent against deobfuscation, you can exploit weaknesses in the current decompilers. Um, Programmers deliberately obfuscate to hide its purpose. This falls under security through obscurity. Um, it prevents anyone from tampering with the code. It is harder to reverse engineer, and you can also hide malicious code um, as well. Some obfuscation tools are ProGuard, which is used for Java. It's a command line tool. Creates more compact code, makes programs and libraries harder to reverse engineer, and it also this did code as well. AVCME assimilates assembly code to the nine software code, and Confuser is for .NET. It controls low obfuscation, encrypts contents, and it includes an anti decompiler as well. Um, who can tell me what this piece of code will do? How do you defend against that uh, URL problem? Yeah, but how do you defend it? Like if somebody puts in paypals.com, do I have to really be that careful on every single web address I, I click on? Uh, yeah, you have to. I so, and if they, they could put it in a hyperlink, the hyperlink might say www.paypal.com, yeah. but the link might link actually to paypals.com, so it'd have to look down low, right? <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> That's one of the things they talk about in bank security. 
You can put all the bank security you want, but if people use easy passwords or people click on stupid links, what are you going to do? Nicely, nicely done. Oh, you guys put a question? Uh, there's something related to like being hijacked. I thought you don't have to record this. Okay. Um, a really cool 